Hey guys, what's up? This is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the biggest differences in organic keyword research between Google's Keyword Planner tool and SEM Rush's Keyword Magic tool. Now, Google's Keyword tool costs nothing, it's free, okay? And SEM Rush's Keyword Magic tool costs at least $100 per month. Now, is it worth that kind of money for your keyword research? Let's find out. <music> Okay guys, so the best way I figured to compare these two tools is to actually go into each one of them and conduct some basic keyword research. Now, if you don't know, I have a cereal blog, you know, like the breakfast cereal, and um, I write about that and I'm actually quite familiar with those type of keywords. So let's go into these tools and do some basic keyword research. So right here, I have the Google Ads dashboard and um, this is the, the keyword planner tool here is just a small subset, a small feature within a larger tool. So go up here to the tools and settings after you set up your account and you can click on keyword planner. And what we wanna do is discover new keywords. Okay, so we'll click on this box here and we're just gonna start very broad and say serial. Okay, so let's get the results. And here you go, you see this table with your keyword here, your average monthly searches, your competition. Don't you guys worry, we're gonna go into each one of these columns in depth and uh, some more other columns here to the right. Now, just, that's just a basic broad overview. Let's go over to SEM Rush's keyword magic tool and type in the same exact word. So our keyword phrase here is again gonna be serial. We Okay, so the search results are now populated and we see here a similar setup. We have the keyword volume, a little bit different. We have trend, keyword density, and some other columns. So the biggest difference here between SEM Rush and the keyword planner tool with Google that I see right off the bat is this excess of columns that you have here. Okay, so we're gonna get into that, but there, let's look at the overlap between the two tools first. So what are the common columns that you get? So let's put these search results side by side and start to compare them. So we're gonna sort here by average monthly searches. And at the very top is our keyword that we search for, serial. That gets, according to Google, between 100,000 and 1 million average monthly searches. Over on the Keyword Magic tool, we have a much more um, accurate, much more fine-tuned number. We have the search volume being 165,000 searches per month. Now, the other column here for serial is that the competition is high. And if we go over to the keyword magic tool, we can also see that the competition is high, which it's given a value out of one instead of you know just a category of high, medium, or low. So we see 0.91 for that. And actually, if you come back over here to the keyword planner tool, you can see that there's also a competition value of 89. So that's, that's very similar to each other. Now, the other common column here is the bid range. And Google Keyword Planner tool gives you an actual range from, you know, for this particular keyword, $3 to $7.80. But when you come over here to the Keyword Magic tool with SEM Rush, you can see that the cost per click is $1.51. So you can see here that there are some discrepancies between the two tools. Does that mean one is better than the other one? Well, no, because they are actually supposed to serve two different purposes. Okay, so I gotta tell you guys this right off the bat. The keyword planner tool with Google is specifically for advertisers looking to bid on keywords for paid search. Okay, so this is if somebody wants to show an ad in Google search results, whereas the Keyword Magic tool with SEM Rush is specifically for organic keyword research. Okay, so that's if you want your blog post or your website or a page on your website to show up in the search results for Google without paying money for that, without you know showing an ad. So that's the main key difference. Let's go back into the tool and look at some other differences here. Okay, guys. So like we talked about, instead of having these average monthly search ranges, you know, for serial between 100,000 and 1 million searches per month, that's a really large range. The Keyword Magic tool for SEM Rush gives you a specific average monthly search volume. That's much more accurate and much more easy to wrap your head around. Now, in addition to that, they also have this trend column, which gives you a visual representation of how much 
keyword searches are being done for this particular keyword over the last 12 months. And this is very, very handy, especially when you're looking at you know seasonal keywords. And even before you look at seasonal keywords, just this the second search result here, the Travis Scott serial, which seems like it had a huge uptick in searches, you know, maybe like five or six months ago. And that trend is starting to decline again. And another one I wanna show you down here is the Booberry cereal. Yeah, so here you can see around the September, October, November timeframe, you see a peak right around Halloween for this, you know, this Halloween theme cereal. And then it kind of trails off the rest of the year. So that is some valuable insights that you don't actually get when you use the uh, the Google Keyword Planner tool, the free, the free tool that we're talking about here. You can't have that type of insight. There is no data that supports that or that backs that up. The only place you can see that is within the Keyword Magic tool within SEM Rush. Okay, now some additional columns that you get with the Keyword Magic tool over the Keyword Planner tool is the Keyword Difficulty column. And this column is different from the Competition Difficulty column. Okay, so the Keyword Difficulty column tells you exactly how hard it would be to outrank your competitors in Google for a particular keyword. Whereas the competitive density column, which is the term in Keyword Magic Tool over in Keyword Planner, if you remember, it's just called competition, is the level of competition between advertisers bidding on a given keyword within their, you know, their paid per click campaigns when they're trying to actually set up ads. So that's a whole different ballpark. That's a whole different game when you're, you know, you're competing for ad space on Google search results versus when you're competing for organic Google search results. And then a couple extra columns that you get with the Keyword Magic tool are the SF column, which stands for SERP features, which basically tells you how many SERP features are available for this particular keyword. So example, this Travis Scott serial has two SERP features, images and videos. So if we actually click out and look at that search result, you'll see here that we do see images up here. That is a SERP feature. And then where is the videos? There is the videos. So we see the videos down here. So those are the two SERP features for that particular keyword. And finally, this last column here, the number of search results column. This basically tells you how many search results Google has indexed for this particular keyword. So why is this such a critical piece of information? Well, if we go down here, for example, to the baby shark serial keyword, which gets 14,800 searches per month. And just down below that, we see that kicks serial gets the exact same monthly search volume for that keyword as well. But if we look at the number of search results, we see that baby shark serial has 36.9 million search results, whereas kicks serial has just 372,000 search results. Now, just intuitively, which one of these keywords do you think is easier to rank for? The one with 36 million search results or the one with 300,000 search results? Exactly. The, it's much easier to rank for the kicks serials keyword than it is for the baby shark keyword. Now guys, one last thing I wanna say here before we wrap up this comparison video is something positive about the Google Keyword Planner tool. So let's look at that tool again, and you'll see here that the search results are indeed different than the search results for the Keyword Magic tool. So the Keyword Magic tool for SEM Rush has serial in every single keyword phrase. So you have the Travis Scott serial again, healthy serial, magic spoon serial, serial brands. So serial appears in that keyword phrase every single time. Whereas if you're over here on the Keyword Planner tool with Google, you don't see serial appear in all the, um, the keyword search results. So you have the cornflakes here. It's not cornflakes serial, it's just cornflakes. You have Lucky Charms here, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops spelled differently, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So you see that you can get a much broader sense of your keyword by using the Google Keyword Planner tool. It doesn't necessarily have to have your keyword in every single you know search result, which I'm not sure it depends on what keyword you're targeting, if that's relevant or not. But I know for me personally, when I have a serial blog, it's good to also know the search results that people are searching for without the, the the serial word, the serial keyword in the keyword phrase. Okay guys, so I hope by this point in the video, you understand the key differences between Google's Keyword Planner tool and SEMrush's Keyword Magic tool. Like we talked about a couple times in this video, 
Google's Keyword Planner tool is specifically for people who want to pay for their search results. They want to put ads inside of Google search results, whereas the Keyword Magic tool by SEMrush is specifically for organic keyword. And as we saw, there is some overlap between the two, the two data sets, I guess you want to say, but um, you get some additional data with SEMrush's Keyword Magic tool, right? You get the visibility of the keyword trending over time. So if it's a seasonal keyword, you can see that in a small little graph there associated with each keyword. In addition to that, you also get the specific numbers, right? You get the exact monthly search volumes, they're estimates, but you get instead of ranges with Google Keyword Planner tool, you get actual numbers as far as how many people are searching for this particular keyword per month. So that comes back to the question of, is SEM Rush's keyword magic tool worth it for something like $100 per month? Now, I asked myself this question one year ago when I decided to take blogging seriously, and I came to the conclusion that yes, it is. Now, let me just first say that there is much more to the SEM Rush suite of tools than just this keyword magic tool, right? There is dozens and dozens of individual tools. You got like backlink audits, you got site audits, everything, social media stuff. So this is just a small subset of what you get with SEM Rush. But back to the question, is it worth it? Yes. I see the fact that I want to be a blogger, the fact that well, I am a blogger at this point, um, is like this is a necessary tool for bloggers to have, right? So you think about like a construction worker, right? They have a tool bag and in the tool bag they have a hammer, a saw, and a screwdriver, right? Those are necessary tools for a construction worker to get their job done. I see something like this, a keyword research tool like SEMrush's keyword magic tool as a necessary tool in my tool bag as a blogger to get my job done, to you know, I work really hard on all of my blog posts, on all of my websites, and um, I want that to show up in search results to share with people, right? And I don't necessarily want to pay for ads. So that's why I see the Keyword Magic Tool by SEMrush as a critical um, tool in my tool bag. So I hope this video was valu valuable for you guys. If you found it valuable, uh, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this about um, keyword research, search engine optimization, and even more broadly about just setting up your website, maintaining your website, whether it's WordPress or something else, that's what this channel is all about. I give away all this information for free for you guys so you don't have to hire an SEO expert or a developer or designer to do that to your website. Um, so that's what I'm here for. So please consider subscribing if that's something you're interested in. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.